Hello and welcome to Labio Advantage. In this video, we'll discuss about the IEEE 2018 ranking for the top priming languages. We'll compare the Labio against the rest of the priming languages. IEEE recently conducted and produced the results in which they synthesized 11 metrics from 9 different sources and they compared against 300 priming languages. So they used the metrics of Google search, Google trends and so on and they came up with the list of 47 top priming languages in the world. So these are the different sources which they used. So we'll go into the list, the top 10 priming languages in the world. So if you go to this link, you will find out that Python actually sits on the top of the list among the other priming languages. So this actually came from the synthesis after the nearly 300 priming languages. So if you scroll a little bit down, this is the fifth time IEEE has performed this. Python sits on the top. And now like I will go into the interactive and see where actually LabVIEW sits because we are concerned about the LabVIEW at the moment. So if you move a little bit down, if you scroll down over there, uh, we find LabVIEW actually sits at the 35. It's not bad because there are like a 300 different priming languages and since this is a generic priming language uh, ranking, so if I disable the web, uh, mobile, and enterprise as well and if you look into the embedded system LabVIEW actually comes inside the top 10 and it is one of the favorite languages uh, for the engineers who are not uh, specifically or like a technically computer science or software engineers so it is highly popular amongst uh, the customers who want to develop their application test systems uh, rapidly uh, similarly, it is highly popular amongst the engineers from electronics and communication backgrounds, instrumentation and mechatronics, since uh, they won't be uh, very much comfortable with the general programming languages like Python and so on. So I hope you like this video. Please like, share and comment on this video. And then please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future lab videos.